Hello, I'm Emily, and I'm going to be going through an open rocket tutorial today. So let's get started. First, I'll show you how to download the software. So you can go to openrocket.info on your browser and download for Windows here or another operating system here. I already have the software downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. Once you open Open Rocket, it'll take you to this page. You can see that you have three main menus here. In this bottom one, you'll see your three-dimensional or two-dimensional view of your rocket. Up here, you'll have all of your components listed. And in this menu, you'll be able to add and select different components. In the main rocket menu, you can see in this corner, you have your stability, your center of mass, and your center of pressure. And in this corner, you have some high-level parameters about your rocket. Once you've added a motor, you can also see max velocity and apogee in this corner. So we'll go ahead and add a nose cone. And as you can see, when you click on a component to add it, it brings this menu up. You can change the geometry of your nose cone here, and it'll also give you a short description of the type of nose cone that you've selected. You can select the material that your component is gonna be made of here, and also the component finish. Most finishes tend to be between 60 micrometers and 20 micrometers. So we'll go ahead and select 60 and you can click set for all and it will set that finish for all of your components. You can also change the dimensions of your components with these tabs or by typing the, uh, the, the measurement in directly. So once we selected our nose cone, we can go ahead and add a body tube. Same thing goes, we can change our body tube dimensions here and our finish over here. So I will go ahead and select the same parameters for our body tube, and we'll go ahead with that. So you can add another body tube by clicking up here, or if you wanna keep the same parameters of your original body tube, you can click your body tube in the overall rocket menu, Control C and Control V, and it'll copy the body tube with the same parameters as the original body tube. So I'll go ahead and add another body tube, and now that the rocket is as long as I want it to be, I can add fins. Most rockets go with freeform fin sets, so we'll go with that one. But there's some other geometries that you can try and experiment with as well. You can change the number of fins here, your rotation, and your cant. And you can also change the material that the fins are made of over here. We'll also change the material that the fillets of the fins are made of. Under the shape tab, you can change the shape of your fins. And you can see that this impacts the stability. If you want to add another point, you can click in between. And if you want to delete a point, you can hit control click. So I'll make my fins something like that. And you can also change your fin geometry later on. So once we have a rocket that seems somewhat finished, we can add other parameters like inner tubes, couplers, mass components, parachutes by clicking on the body tube that we want to add them in and then adding those components. We'll also get a, a small pop-up tab here, but this really just adds mass to your rocket. So another way that you can do this is by click, double clicking on the sustainer and overriding your mass and the center of gravity. Uh, you can get these from most CADNIC softwares and they'll just override any other parameters that you've put in. So if you want a more detailed uh, open rocket simulation, you can use the parameters up here, but it also works just fine if you put in your mass and center of gravity. So once we're happy with the way our rocket looks, we can go ahead and add a motor. So we'll click the body tube that I want to add it in and select a motor. I'm going to select this motor because I know that this is the motor that I want. But if I'm looking for a different motor, I can uh, change the manufacturer here if I have a specific type of manufacturer that I want to go with. I can also change the impulse and the motor dimensions to filter out which type of motor I want to use. If I find a motor that I'm interested in, I can see more uh, detailed parameters about the motor here, and they also provide a thrust curve. Open Rocket is pretty good at simulating hot solid motors, but it's not as good at simulating hybrids and liquids. So it's a good software to use to determine high level parameters like impulse for your rocket. But 
if you're looking to do more detailed simulations, it's not as applicable. So we'll go ahead and add that. And we can see that our stability is very low. We can change that with the by changing the fin set, but I'm not going to worry about it too much for this simulation. Your stability should be between 1.5 and 2 for the duration of your flight, or else you could be overstable, more susceptible to wind loads, and you could, or if you're understable, you might not be you might not be stable and you come off the launch run. So once we're done with that, we can start a new simulation. So I'm going to click this simulation here and select new simulation. So it'll be the same parameters as the uh, initial or as the initial simulation that I did. And we're going to call it simulation six. We'll call it simulation one. This is just because I've done other simulations on open rocket. In this menu, we can change the wind speed and the deviation of the wind speed. Um, also the wind direction. Typically 90 degrees is the best because, or the best to use because it uh, shows the stability of your rocket the best. And you can also change the launch conditions like altitude and longitude and latitude. You can change the length of your launch rod, which will help uh, with your stability as well. So once we're done with this, we can simulate and plot. And these are the parameters that it will give you to plot, but we can change them around and see what anything else that we're interested in learning about this rocket. So maybe let's lateral or altitude. Apogee is under here. There it is. We already have altitude, so I guess we'll just do time. You can take off some of these by clicking on these, and you can also add them by here. Uh, by clicking on these, it will show on the graphs different events occurring. And you can also export data from these by clicking on the data you want to export here and clicking export. It'll export it to just a, a CSV file. I believe. So we can go ahead and plot and you'll see your altitude, the vertical velocity and the time. Those are the parameters that I chose to plot. So you can see them here. And you can also see those parameters down here and these will be updated as you uh, modify your rocket. That's about it for the general overview of Open Rocket. You can add as many simulations here as you want. You can play around with different types of motors and geometries to make your model more accurate. But overall, it's a really good software to use to determine high level parameters for your rocket. I hope that this tutorial was helpful and have a great day.